you know, I try not to sound schizophrenic when making these videos, but it's, it's hard not to because the subject matter seems like it's preposterous, but it isn't. I've been witnessing all sorts of crazy things like major time loops. Like if something's not... Like I'm going to go ahead and explain it right now. Within your consciousness lies your timelines. And you can shift timelines in your own head because your timelines exist within it. You know, uh, with that being said, it's like, for instance, I was over at the dentist uh, today getting my teeth worked on. And so while I was at the dentist, uh, they put like a shield on my face. I was able to see ultraviolet light that was protruding from the light that the lady was using. And I was able to see different spirits, different timelines and all of that. And all that comes from your consciousness, from your head. With that being said, when something was far from my timeline, it would appear kind of shaky. Like the video I showed you all of a timeline where there was a brother, you know, in Louisiana where I'm from in Baton Rouge, but I'm from New Orleans, saying that there's... Don't mess with a man, let him be. Let him be. They ain't got nowhere else, man. Let him be. Don't do that. They got people doing drugs here, man. So let them be. Y'all stay there, man. Y'all stay there. Uh-uh, man, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't mess with him. So you're going to disrespect the woman? Don't do that. They got nowhere else to go. What else can they do? What else can they do? They got nowhere else to go, man. They got to do it somewhere. They're human. They got needs. They ain't got no kids around here. Even if they is, show them little motherfuckers where they come from. Y'all stay. No, no, no. Don't, 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 don't. They don't. They don't have a place to go, man. You know better than that. They don't have a place to go, my brother. You know better than that. You know better than that. You know go, my brother. Where you from? The islands? Where you from? The islands? Yeah, I really need to work out. It's a fucking shame where I'm staying at right now. They have a gym. But it's up uh, on the second floor. I mean, on the fifth floor. And women aren't allowed to be able to work out. I can't stand judgmental people. You got motherfuckers doing... You got motherfuckers doing drugs around here in this motherfucking park, but they don't focus on sex. That's the thing that gets me, you know. It's like in jail, for instance, people don't fuck with murderers, but they'll fuck with chomos and rapists. It, it's something about sex in Western society that's a major hang-up for people. You all right, man. You stay where you at. You got every right to, you know, you ain't got a place to stay, so what else are you going to do? You got needs like everybody else. You're calling me a bitch and all that. And then want to fucking fight me because I want to get involved, you know, thankfully because I'm a black woman that blocked me. But look at him, he's drinking over here in the park, you know, you doing something you ain't got no business doing.
but you try telling somebody ignorant like that, they're going to want to get, you know, hostile with you, and I'm not the woman I used to be, like, when I was on the PCH, I'm all destroyed, and all corrupted, you know, so I can't do what I used to do, you know, be able to step in, there was a time where I was, I was strong, but anyways, where I'm at, you know, they don't allow you to work out, you know, if you can't, you know, work out in the gym, if, you know, it's supposed to be on the same floor, you know, with the, well, they claim, I, I don't know what's going on, but females can't go to the gym, I know the library's on the fifth floor, it's supposed to be on the fifth floor, and I saw a woman in the library, so, you know, that's why I like working out, I worked out yesterday, my shoulders got broad. I was uh, at a friend's house around here. Really, really cool guy. And that helped to make me look a lot more intimidating and keep, you know, people from, you know, fighting. And it gave me confidence, you know, something I haven't had. I knew it had to be a fucking Jamaican. Most black people were just, you know, at Skid Row. You know? need to stop tripping. <clears throat> that was funny. But anyways, as I was saying before, you have Like I say, this this shit got me all fucked up. My energy body, my energy is all out of fucking whack. It's all over the place. You know, it's a crime that I have to fight every single fucking night to keep my shit together. So anyways, with that being said, I was looking at the ultraviolet lights that were exuding from her witch McCallin. And so I couldn't help but think to myself about quantum jumping and spirit travel and how we can just do all of that from within even though there's an external part you know like I I kept hearing during this curse I can always get back in that timeline but that body is damn near next to impossible but really it isn't like I said before my God that's putting that shit out there ain't shit but I got another God that's connected more to the source than to the demiurge that seeing all of this evil shit, he almost got taken over, I believe, by Alex Nascimento through this entity attachment one night. And you know, he's a very fair God, and he didn't like what he saw and he tried to you know change it and I felt it when him and my other connection to God which is through my father you know basically flipped the script you know and set it up to where I could get back my shit but there's something I'm guessing over in that timeline again it's where I got taken out of my body on August 22nd 2022 that blocked it With that being said, I was looking at the ultraviolet lights excluding from her from her helmet, and I couldn't help but think about how easy it is in a way to be able to jump timelines, but also hard. Act like they did something. I saw a witch's hat on her just now, like in the uh, astral. I keep seeing it. You're not a good person. Judgmental person, but not a good person.
yeah, with that being said, um, there's nothing I would like more than to be able to go back. doing dissertation videos but I'm trying to think of the correlation of how somebody can use that to jump I believe that there's rays or ions that emits that allows you like pores to be able to travel within and then go externally into different feel something, feel something doing it right now I gotta put my shit back together allow you to be able to travel I'm also saying something as well if you come across demons I'm not talking about your Ars Goetias but I'm going to cite this example while I was in the mental hospital I stayed there because I was about to commit suicide due to lack of shelter um, speaking of which I'm going to have to do something about uh, the people at that place I was staying at uh, on Fig uh, first to serve they got me on like a 30 day fucking band for no motherfucking reason and got me extricated out um, out of the entire system damn near and um, I'm gonna have to mention how these motherfuckers uh, I had my uh, shit stolen uh, a ring you know mail that I had delivered from Etsy and uh, it was actually a track package at that but with that being said, I can't help but think about how porous, how porous it is. Um, with being able to travel, I'm sensing that it's kind of like with molecules, stuff that allows you to travel, but from within. But you don't have to go that within. I'm thinking you would have to take maybe your whole soul or a part of it, a part of your consciousness. This is what, uh, not shapeshifters, but um, skinwalkers do, and put it, like they'll put part of their consciousness into an animal, put a part of their consciousness into themselves in an alternate reality by imagination. And you can do that because you're tied. Oh, this is what I wanted to say about demons. While I was in the mental hospital, there was, um, I remember reading a book, and because my energy is all out of whack, coming across, it's like the characters would come to life from the book. So I ran across John the Baptist, who is the earliest Alex Nascimento, somebody meant to suppress those who are spiritually powerful for the Demiurge. And I saw some of the people who, you know, were in the Bible, who were being praised and all that, who had been turned into actual demons. I actually rescued them, including one. But he wasn't from the Bible, though. But he was a person who I came across after looking at this picture of a, a demon here 